Ublu means portal. And why? Because Mr. Carlo Coco in 1980 had an idea. He was fond of sailing, of yachting of the Mediterranean Sea. He decided I would like to have a watch for me which I could wear on a boat on the Costa Smeralda, in Corsica, in Saint-Tropez, wherever. I would like a watch that would be fitted for water, but very light, with materials from the sea. One of the major materials of the sea is rubber. If you look the goggles, if you look the, the gloves and everything, it's rubber. And rubber is never wet. Rubber always is dry. So the idea came, let's make a watch that looks like a portal and let's have a bracelet that is in rubber. That was the original idea, the original concept of 1980. That concept is still valid today, 25, 26 years later. The concept was genius in several aspects. One aspect was that by having rubber and a gold watch, a gold case, or later a steel case, to combine two materials. The rubber comes from the trees in Malaysia. The gold comes from a mine in South Africa. When you combine those two, you create a fusion. Because those two materials should never come together. So you have to bring them together through a fusion. You have to, you know, really to combine them. That is one brilliant idea, conceptually. Then to have a watch that looks like a portal and to have it on a rubber bracelet makes the whole watch very comfortable. It makes the watch heavy water resistant and it makes the watch looking desirable. That was 1980, the genius idea of a genius man, Mr. Carlo Croco. He comes from Italy, and these Italian people have the flair for this type of ideas. In 2005, 25 years later, I joined, and I decided that the concept was still valid, Entirely, not only the concept of the fusion, but also the concept of rubber and the concept of the portal design. But we said we need a design of a portal which is more appealing to 2010 rather to 1980. We took the design of 1980, the portal of Mr. Coco, the Hublot, and we said 1980, okay, now let's move it. 1984, 1988, 1995, 2000, 2005. Don't stop 2006, 2010. And we stopped at 2010. And we had a design of 2010. We looked at this design. We said, wow, look at that. It's unbelievable. The size is much bigger. It's 44 and a half millimeter. The, the, there are only six screws. The bezel is much larger. Wow! And we looked at it and we loved it. And we said, hey, and look on the side and we can have new fusion. You can have Kevlar, carbon, ceramic. We said, wow, that is a revolution. That is a revolution in the existing concept. That is a big bang. We destroy and through the destruction comes a new universe. And that's the new universe of Hublot, born in 2005, called Big Bang. And this is why we have a name. The name Big Bang is not like Hublot. Hublot, only French people know its portal. Big Bang, in English you say Big Bang. In French you say Big Bang. In Chinese you say Big Bang. There are a few magic words that are pronounced the same that are named the same, whatever the language is, whatever people speak, when they, stay, when they want to symbolize Big Bang, they say Big Bang, there's no tra tra translation. We have Big Bang, a universal watch, 
a watch that the world understands, a watch that the world loves. And when you have a successful product, usually two things happen. The number one, successful products, when they're really successful, are successful all over the world. They are not successful just in Italy, or successful just in Switzerland, or in my village, or in my city. It goes all over the world. That is one thing that happened with Big Bang. The whole world, from India, to China, to Japan, from Japan to Latin America, from Latin America, through New York, from New York to Canada, from Canada to Europe, the whole world loves Big Bang. The whole world accepted the product. The whole world created demand for the product. That's number one. Number two, when the product is really successful, people who can afford love it. Down to the people who cannot afford. It's like a Ferrari. A Ferrari car. Kids love it, but cannot buy it. And people who can buy, they also love it. It goes all over the population. And that is the second symbol. You know? When the whole world loves your watch, that's number one. And when the entire population, from the one who can afford to the one who cannot afford, loves the watch. And that is what, what happened to us.